Tale of the Tape brought to you by Red Con One. Marina Walknapkina is two years older. She's two inches shorter. Arm reach is identical. Leg reach favors Marina. Lillian Garcia. Live from Arlington, Texas, this is the main event. And it's in the women's lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. She specializes in sambo. Standing at five feet, six inches tall, she weighs in officially 154 and one quarter pounds. In eight professional bouts, she has a record of six victories and two defeats with four wins by submission. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, here is Marina Marknapkina. Her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. She is a two-time Olympic gold medalist in judo. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, she weighs in officially 155 pounds. With an undefeated record of 12 victories against zero defeats, she is a two-time PFL Women's Lightweight World Champion, fighting out of Middletown, Ohio, Kayla Harrison! Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. There's Keith Peterson to oversee the main event, equipped with the ref cam, Kayla Harrison in the blue, Marina Mochnakina in the gray. Are you ready? Fight! Touch of the gloves, sort of. Kayla Harrison in the southpaw stance. Mochnakina circling around the outside. Low kick and a left hand from Kayla. Yeah, Kayla looking to set up that big left hand or big left kick for an entry into a clinch. There's a left hand again from Kayla Harrison. Nakina shrugs it off, continues to circle around the outside. There's the entry you were talking about. There's the leg, roll to the leg. Kayla responded perfectly. Bognakina trying to grab hold of that left arm of Kayla Harrison. Hooking her foot to control the head. Yeah, she has good posture. She's out of danger here. Harrison frees her arms. Goes to work with the right hand. And the left. Kayla's going to look to try to step over that right leg of Maknakina. Left hand to the body from Kayla. Maknakina scrambling back to her feet. Knee to the upstairs from Kayla. Maknakina looking to reach over, potentially Kimura grip. Kayla having none of it, squeezing tight. Over under here for Nakina, who lets go of the underhook. Nakina with the wizard. Kayla using that body position, body lock from the back. Nakina doing a good job of keeping her base here. knees inside from Kayla Harrison. You can see Kayla not really in a rush. She's taking her time. She's being patient here. Harrison controlling Maknakina against the cage. Marina. Marina might try to roll into a leg like we saw earlier in this round. Harrison told us she was very mindful of that and working on defense for it. Right hand goes to work again for Kayla Harrison. She's starting to pick up the pace now. 
It looks like Maknotnega is trying to step across and use that wizard to hip toss Kayla, which would be a tall order. The there roll? she goes to yeah. roll again. Trying to attack the leg of Kayla Harrison. Oh. She's got that knee bar attempt. Kayla is able to pull her foot out of danger. And now settles into a top control position. These are big shots now. She starts to advance position. Now she moves to the back. 45 seconds for As Ian's. Yep, both hooks Prop in now. Maknakina going two on one defense, trying to prevent Kayla Harrison from snaking her arm around for a choke. Kayla rides a little high. Maknakina is able to scramble back. Left hand just misses for Kayla Harrison. Shakes out her right arm. Nice work by Maknakina to get out of danger there. Yeah, it seemed like Kayla was a little too far forward, decided to bail on it herself. She actually removed one of her hooks and decided to stand up. Harrison stalking, Magnakina circling on the outside. Kick attempt there from Kayla. Inside of 10 seconds, we will see the second round in this lightweight main event as the left hand lands for Harrison. Welcome back, PFL Everybody fight ready. fans. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, and Kenny Florian. Cage side for this main event, Kayla Harrison and Marina Moknakina inside the cage. Harrison in the light blue. Marina Moknakina becomes just the fourth of Kayla's 13 opponents. Well, the fourth opponent in 13 fights, I should say to make it outside of the first round. Nice left hand landed there by Kayla Harrison. And another one glances off the side of Marina Mokhnaki in his head. Now Kayla in on a double leg attempt. Ops for the underhook and body lock instead. He comes upstairs. Now Kayla on the back. Another knee. Oh. And a trip. Oh. Nice work by Kayla Harrison using the momentum. Marina Moknakina on sweeping her feet out from under her. Throws a hook in over the left side. Moknakina back to her feet. Now Marina doing a good job in the transition to get back to where she needs to be safely. Well, not gonna able to pummel in and get another underhook. Kayla works again with her knees. There's Larissa Pacheco, secured a first round knockout victory earlier in the evening. Good enough for six points and first place in the women's lightweight standings. Now that we're into the second round of this main event, she will remain there in first place with those six points. But not gonna able to maintain a base, frustrate the efforts of Kayla Harrison for now, but no offense. Marina. Marina's just done a really good job of you know, staying closed up and compact and not exposing herself to anything. Tried to roll two leg locks. Harrison was on top of both of those. They weren't really close. The second one was a little closer. There's another one she's trying to roll. Kayla's got to be careful here. There's the knee bar attempt. And she's going to, the, the leg's twisted. She's probably going to try to attack that outside heel if she can. But Kayla looks like she's Kayla pretty safe there as well. Kayla slipped it very nicely. Big right oh. hand comes down from Kayla and the left. We'll see if Kayla can posture and start to create some offense in these ground and pound situations. She's got some of the best ground and pound in the whole sport. Marina Maknakina, though, throws a butterfly in. 
overhooks that right arm of Kayla Harrison. Marina has done a wonderful job here defensively against Kayla in a lot of these exchanges. Typically, we see Kayla get on top and just relentless with her ground and pound, but Marina getting that inside position. She's tying up arms. She's controlling the posture of Kayla here. There's a nice shot. Marina uses her legs really well to keep Kayla off balance and not allow her to land a good shot. Absolutely. She's deflecting that kind of forward pressure from Kayla, but Kayla able to step over there. And she passes. Cross side there. Nice, nice cross side pass. Kayla will look to potentially establish this crucifix position. Maknakina. Arm bar attempt here. Rolling oh. away. She might try the arm bar here. Nope. Marina gets out of it. And once again, Both gives up her time. back. She's got Kayla Harrison's arm around her neck. Does a good job of sitting back against the cage, tucking her chin. Take a look through ref cam, Keith Peterson keeping a close eye on all the action. Harrison trying to punch to loosen up the posture of Marina Moknakina. Makes one more effort to throw that arm underneath the chin. Inside of 30 seconds here in the second round. <laughs> Two on one defense again there for Marina Moknakina. With 10 seconds left, she'll try and stand and spin out. Kayla Harrison stays heavy. Round two comes to a close. Pressed against the cage. One more round here in the women's lightweight division. American top team coach Mike Brown there offering advice to Kayla Harrison, the two-time PFL women's lightweight champion. Wants her to keep the striking exchanges simple and spiral ride to negate some of that slipperiness, Kenny. Yeah, instead of committing both of her hooks where she could lose position and have Marina come on top, they wanted to Lighter from the side from that top position, kind of like folk style wrestling. You can chip away with ground and pound. And if she sees a major mistake, then maybe throwing the hooks. But it seems like she's been following that game plan pretty well here. Marina wanted to keep this fight standing. I'd like to see her let her hands go. She, she has better striking than Kayla. We haven't seen that in this fight. Kayla Harrison keeps shaking out her right hand. Using the left hand primarily as her offensive weapon. We heard the coaches calling for high kicks as well. Measuring distance here. Comes in. Nice double leg. Sprawled right away too. She knew Marina was going to roll. We are trying to find a way to roll to those legs. And there's that spiral rod, Randy. Yep, absolutely. We call it a cowboy ride. <laughs> Kayla looks to control that far wrist, create the handcuff on Marina Moknakina. See if she can get her left hand free, and there she goes. Kayla has dictated wherever this fight was going to take place. She's been in, in charge and in control in almost every moment of the fight. Look, respect to Marina Moknakina because Kayla is the most dominant champion in the sport of mixed martial arts, and she's clearly doing some nice things defensively, but there just has not been effective offense against the weapons and attacks of Kayla Harrison. Now, Marina has definitely done her homework, and, and Kayla's not rushing anything. She's not forcing anything out there. Previously, only one person has taken Kayla Harrison the distance. That's her right there, Larissa Pacheco. Pacheco angling for another rematch. Feels like she's got what it takes to solve this puzzle now. And after that fight, Kayla was very, very upset with herself. Yeah. I think we're seeing a different Kayla here. She's much more patient. She's not so hard on herself. She's going to be fine with this. She had a solid performance. She showed some new skills. Her left hand was straight and, and on point. The high kick, very nice. Yep. And, and cage time is valuable. I mean, that, that all adds up to give you a lot more confidence, a lot more experience, and a lot more stuff to play with in the training room. Round three, halfway gone, two and a half more minutes for Kayla Harrison or Marina Moknakina to try and grab a finish and a bonus point in victory. 
Harrison continues to press against the cage. Oknakina continues to shift position. Knee up the middle there from Harrison. Harrison grabbed that sweet, plum sweet. for a minute. Almost thought she was going to try and headlock her. We've seen her throw really nice headlocks in the past. Minute 45. Harrison's coaches in the quarter, mostly in content to watch. 90 seconds. More knees from Harrison. Bugnakina attempting to step over. Not going to be easy to throw a judo yeah. gold medalist, Ken. Absolutely true. Yeah, she was looking for that Oso Togari. And uh, one doesn't just hip toss Kayla Harrison. <laughs> Marina Bugnakina pushes out. One minute remaining in this women's lightweight main event. Kina blitzes forward with an attack. Kayla Harrison moves out of the way. Left hand from Harrison. Ten seconds remain. Two high kick attempts here from Kayla. The fight comes to a close, 15 minutes in the books. And now Lillian Garcia has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored the bout 30-27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, earning three points in the women's lightweight division, Kayla Harrison! All right, let's take a look at the women's lightweight standings.